if Inambi Kanu could escape out of Nigeria when the military sent by Buhari's regime invaded his father's compound in Afaruku, Umaya, in Abia State, do not think that he could never have attended his parents' burial without the same military personnel not knowing or having a wind of his movement. After all, there is no bother in Nigeria. They said it themselves. Garba Shehu, the one of the media aides of Buhari, said that we should not blame the service chiefs for their inability to secure Nigerians to curtail the menaces of terrorists and Fulani bandits because they claim that we proliferation of small hands and ammunitions came in from Libya and we should blame the Libyans and blame the Europeans for whatever activities that they are involved in right there. And they claim that this came in through the ungoverned regions of the Sahel. If this could come in and create so much anarchy, create so much injuries, hurt, kill people, if all of this coupled together could penetrate into Nigeria, then what makes you think that Mazen Namdekano could not have come into Nigeria, come into Biafra land without the same security outfits, not even having a wind of this? Now, there is a story out there, and they said this is what happened between 10 days Namdekano spent in Nigeria for his parents' burial, yet no security saw him. He is the leader of the indigenous people of Biafra, Mazi Inamdekan, who lost his parents recently and buried his parents also not too long ago, February 14th, 2020. They passed on recently as a result of the shock they took. That is according to Mazi Inamdekan, uh, when the military invaded the palace of HRM Kanu. Leader of the indigenous people of Biafra, Inamdekan, gave his last respect to his late parents buried on the 14th of February 2020. There were escalated reports here and there saying that Namdekanu could not be present at this burial event because of the numbers of security personnel deployed by the regime of Major General Muhammad Buhari, the president of Nigeria. Now, according to some reports out there, like I said, there are, there, there are picture evidence that people have brought out there showing images that prove that Inam de Kanu was present at his parents' burial. Inam de Kanu stayed 10 days in Nigeria, in Biafran land, buried his parents, crowned the present king of Afaruku, and yet no single Nigerian security could figure out his presence. People of Biafra just executed another top secret. The BSS top executives guided him till he left back to the United Kingdom in the morning. Now, there are comments out there as regards this, and I'm going to go through some points that certain people raised to why it is impossible for Namdekanu not to have been on ground, that he has to be on ground according to the traditions. Now, someone said that they just can't stop laughing because Nigeria believes that they are too big, but they don't know, and I'm talking about the Buhari's regime, that they are too small to handle whatever Namdekanu is involving. He only announced that he won't be present to move the minds of Nigerians away from him. Someone said he was there unannounced and prepared the burial ceremony himself without anybody knowing. Nigerian security never thought of it, and it was expected to... Um, expected by many to show himself as soon as he arrived but he was much careful and he only appeared when he needed to do the burial rites now someone said i told people that didn't have the kind of attended the burial it is customary in Igbo land that the first son of a monarch must be at the burial of his father as long as the person is healthy and has no issues or financial problem he was advised to hide from public so as not to put the lives of people in danger he performed necessary rights when it should be done and left from public glare now people should know that a king is bestowed on anybody while he is present when he is not absent a king can you know the kingship title cannot be bestowed on someone while he is absent dust to dust ritual at the graveside cannot be performed 
for a person who is absent. That is what this person is saying. Now I'm going to go through the points that people raised um, as, as the reason why um, the points they raised to buttress the fact that Inam Dekano has to be on that ground, the Biafran ground, his father's compound to do the, um, the normal rights. Now, although some people are of a different opinion saying that anybody who believes in this stupid lie is the biggest fool on the earth, the person must be on cheap draws. Kano and IPOB and whatever stories this person wants to share, they claim that it's a lie, it's a fake news, it wasn't there, and all of that. Whatever it is, I'm going to go through the points that have been raised by people that are vast when it comes to the traditions or, and burial rights and all of that. I'm going to go through those points. So we see for ourselves, was Inam the Kanu there? Do you think, according to the the constitution or the laws or the or, or, or the the constitutions and laws of the land the customary laws of the land the traditions that has been put down for years do you think that Nam the Kano wouldn't have been there let us find out according to points that some people out there raised now one of the points raised out there is that as a first son, the chief mourner and the prince is the proverbial golden fish. He has no hiding place in Igbo culture. He must come out to greet his kinsmen if he is around. He is the one to present cola nut and drinks to them. That is one point that has been raised. Then they said as a first son, he must be among the people to bring back the corpse of the, from the mortuary. And is one to identify the corpse of his father and his mother at the mortuary. They say, as the first son and prince, he must say something during the burial of his father, the funeral oration. As at the mourner's canopy, known as Mpu, uh, in, in Igbo culture, it's called Mpu Mpu. The prince, who is still the first son, must be there to receive sympathizers. At the graveside, the prince, who doubles as the chief mourner and first son, must be there to pay the last respect to his spirit. He is to be is is to put a portion of the sand to the grave and bid his parents goodbye. They say as a chief mourner and the first son and the prince, it can be on ground. Another person will be delegated to give vote of thanks to the sympathizers. So these are the points that have been raised um, out there as to why there is no way Inam the Kano would not come there. And now there are different opinions out there, divergent views. Some saying, well, somebody else could have done the same um, because he couldn't come in there. They claim that how is it going to be the immigration protocol and officers and all of that? And I pointed that out to you. Maybe he doesn't necessarily have to come through the Muhammad International Airport, any of the airports, the one in Abuja, any of that. After all, when he left Nigeria, he didn't go through that way. Now... They said, how did he pass through all the security agents and roadblocks on the road? How was he able to get into his father's compound unnoticed? How did he beat the medias and the cameras and all of that? But then, as you can see, some claim that the picture that you are seeing is photoshopped and all of that. All of these are um, concerns that have been raised here and there. All some people out there um, just trying to make it look like, yes, we are in support of tyranny we are in support of this regime that has decided to make the lives of people unbearable that is just what it is because i do not see any reason why it should not be able to move freely in biafra land and actualize biafra even the whole of the biafras not just biafra is not iman in the kanu in the kanu is just a drop of what biafra is all about a lot of people have died for the same biafra a lot of bloods have been shared for the same Biafra. Some people have remained for the same Biafra. And when you look at it at the end of the day, is it what the shedding of blood? No. The problem is people not coming together with one view. People not re-educating themselves to realize that all of this suffering and hardship is as a result of you embracing your oppressor. Not speaking truth to power. Not deciding and coming up with one voice. So, these are the concerns that have been raised by a lot of people claiming that Inam Dekano couldn't have been there. Some say he was there and he had to do all of this just to make sure that the lives of people are secured. And he himself 
can actually do what he has to do. So, from all of this, do you agree that Inadikanu was at his parents' barrier or is this all ruse and falsehood? If you are not a member of this channel, we can agree together by you tapping on the subscription button and the red notification icon bell below. It will alert you whenever videos are uploaded. Thanks for stopping by.